Hello creepy friends. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing the setup for my September bullet journal. And you might be noticing here that I'm going to be doing something a little bit different from what I usually do. My usual style is drawing, but I decided that for my bullet journal this month I'm going to try this collage style. And a lot of that has to do with the amount of time and energy that it took for me to do my September reading journal setup. If you haven't seen that already, I'll link it up in the card and down below. But that was a mushroom theme in my reading journal for September, and it was extremely artistically taxing. I did a whole lot of very detailed drawings of mushrooms for that, and it's beautiful, and I love how it turned out. But it really took it out of me, and my creative juices were not really flowing very well for having to do another journal setup for September, so I decided let's try doing a collage. And I'm using all materials that I got from Amazon, very cheap materials. Because I don't usually do this kind of style, I bought a bunch of these materials last year, but I wasn't sure I was going to use them or not, so I didn't get nice ones, I just got really cheap ones off of Amazon. But if you like anything that you're seeing, I will have them, uh, I will have all the products linked in the description box if you would like to get any of them. So for this, I really wanted to go for fall colors. I don't really have a theme per se. I have a lot of natural elements, like this is coral in this illustration for the cover page, but then I'll have mushrooms and whales and all kinds of random nature items, but the theme is mostly the color theme, so I'm using a lot of browns and reds and oranges because I really wanted a nice fall feel and fall is my favorite season, so I'm excited for the cold weather to start coming in. And because I don't have a lot of materials to work with, it was a little bit difficult to figure out how to do this um, title page, because you need things of different sizes in order for it to look right. So you really want, if you're doing a full page spread of a collage, you kind of want a central focal point that's larger and then smaller things around it or a couple maybe two focal points that are larger so i decided to use this coral um, piece of paper with a coral illustration and then i'm using black paper and writing on it with an acrylic paint pen in red to do the title for september and although I'm not using a lot of black in the setup in general, I wanted it to be able to stand out and be easily readable, so that's why I did it on some black paper here. This setup took me a really long time because I'm not used to doing this kind of thing, so I cut out so much footage of me just like putting things down and moving them around and then taking them away to see how things looked. So you're getting a very, very abbreviated version of me doing this. One of the fun things about collage is that you can use a lot of different textures and I really enjoy having different textures. That's why I, a lot of times, even in my drawing setups, I use that brown craft paper to give it some more texture and then here I'm using some little tiny washi paper dot stickers to add a little bit more color. And then I'm just moving them around to a different spot here. And I was really trying not to draw anything for these spreads, but I just couldn't resist drawing a little bit of something on here. I felt like it needed some gold, so I just drew a couple little branches with a gold pen, with a gold gel pen, and then put a couple little dots and stars around.
now we're moving on to the monthly calendar and I'm just using fine liner pen to do the boxes of the calendar here. And then the space underneath the calendar, I wanted that just to be a general little notes section for the month. So here I'm just testing out a couple different pieces of paper to see what I like. I wanted there to be a paper box basically to write the notes in. So I'm trying out a couple different ways of doing it. And I was excited to find amongst the paper pack that I had bought on Amazon, there was this little library card paper. So I really wanted to use that one. And for the header at the top of the calendar, I'm just using a zebra mile liner in the color beige to do the header. And then I'm just writing the first letter of the day of the week at the top. Although I didn't really know what I was doing because I've never really done this style before, I was having a really good time just playing around with everything. And let me know if you like this style and I might consider doing this in my bullet journal and then keeping the drawing in my reading journal. It is kind of overwhelming to have to do two really involved artistic uh, journal spreads per month so this is a little bit more sustainable for me if I do something like this in my bullet journal. Um, so if you like it let me know down below and maybe I will continue doing this at least for the rest of this year and see how it goes. And the stickers that I'm using here are some little fall acorns and mushrooms and things like that as well as some stickers that are made of washi tape that look like stamps. That's the first spread finished. Now we're going to move on to my weeklies. And for this month, I decided to condense things a little bit more. So instead of having one week for each spread, I'm having two weeks for each spread. So this entire month is only taking up three spreads of this notebook because I'm not really using all that space. So I'm just condensing down to the minimum amount of things that I need that I would actually use in this journal. So I just wanted to keep things simple. I didn't want to do any fancy tabs or anything this month. So you can see I just did the first two weeks with boxes, seven boxes, uh, and then the second two weeks of the month I did these kind of column versions of the weeks just for a little bit of visual difference between the two spreads. And now for the decoration, I'm doing it in a very similar way. And since there are seven days of the week, there's this little extra space on either side of these for the decoration. And I had some nice little pieces of paper that had uh, ocean themed 
pictures on them that had some red, so I wanted to use that for this particular spread. And I'm using that same uh, red marbled washi tape as well. Like I said, there's not a specific theme going on here except for the colors. And then I wanted to add in a little bit more decoration because I have a lot of white space left still here. So I kind of played around with where to put this and I finally decided on the top and the bottom would be a good place to put a little bit more decoration. So I just come in again with that red washi tape that's kind of tying everything together. I use that in every single one of these spreads. For cohesiveness, I also wanted to use this gold pen in all of the spreads, so in this particular one I decided just to do a frame, a little squiggly frame around the outside, and that brings in the gold to this one. And then for the days of the week, I'm just using that same script font that I've used for everything that I've done this month so far. And then to finish up this spread, I'm just adding a couple more little goldfish pictures to the bottom right corner. Now we're moving on to the third and fourth weeks of September. So for this one, I decided that most of the decoration would be at the top and the bottom of each of these columns. So again, I'm using this washi tape, and then I will also be bringing in the brown craft paper. And this one was the most difficult one for me to figure out how to decorate it, I guess because of the narrow nature of the space that I left for myself in this one. But you won't see my struggle, I cut all that out for time, but I was really moving things around a lot when I cut, get to the decoration part of this because I could not figure out how to do it. So I end up doing it in a not quite symmetrical way, but I think it still turned out okay. It is my least favorite out of these three different spreads though. As I mentioned earlier, fall is my favorite season. I'm a cozy person, so I like the weather to be cold so that I can wear all my comfy, cozy sweatshirts and things and use a blanket and drink hot drinks and read my books and just like hi start hibernating <laughs> for the winter. And uh, the fall holidays are my favorite holidays as well. I like Halloween and Thanksgiving the best, so coming into the best part of the year for me. And when I was a kid, I think it was also exciting because that's when school started and I tended to be a little bit bored over the summer a lot of the time, so the start of the new school year was always an exciting time. And I just really hate being hot, <laughs> so 
This summer has been really hot where I live, probably where you live too. So I'm pretty much done with that. I'm ready for it to be over. So if you're still watching, go down in the comments and let me know what your favorite season is. And if it's fall, let me know what your favorite thing about fall is. And again, I'm using these little circular stickers, but I wanted a more organic look to it. I decided that for this spread and the previous spread, the circles in a line didn't look as good. So I wanted to just sprinkle them around a more organic looking way. And then to include the gold on this spread, I'm just using it to write the date in all the boxes. And then here I'm just going back to the previous spread and moving those circle stickers around again so that they're not in a straight line. And that does it for my September bullet journal setup. I hope you enjoyed this little change of pace, and if you did, again, let me know, and maybe I'll continue doing this style a little bit in the future. As always, I appreciate all of you. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And for more book and journaling content, you can check out my website, bibliocreep.com, or check me on, out on social media. My handle is always at biblio underscore creep. And coming up, the next video will be my August reading wrap up, and that will either be next week or the following week. I haven't figured that out yet. And as I mentioned in a previous video, stay tuned. In either September or October, I will be doing a thousand subscriber giveaway. So stay tuned for that one. And remember to take care of yourself, drink your water, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.